Hello and welcome to Rat Tale. I am your friend Adrian. And I'm your friend Chris. Welcome to Rat Tale. Rat Tale is a YouTube channel where we love on. We comment on. All things. New kids on the block. And I forgot what comes after. It's been so long. Oh! <laughs> is that the part that we say everyone's welcome here? Yeah. Why don't you say that? And everybody is welcome here. Blockheads like myself. And non-blockheads like myself. Everyone is welcome, welcome here. A classic harmony. Classic harmony. For our first episode of 2023. Yes, and the sun is also shining because we do not have good lighting today. Sun and is shining. The light is literally an exposed bulb. You might notice. <laughs> it is. You might notice that we are filming New Year, New Location. Um, we're, we're at my house. We're at her house this time. <laughs> she also made dinner for me. That was nice. We, we've had such a fun time getting ready for this episode. Yeah. And Chris, you're right. The lighting's different at Adrian's house. Yeah, like, it's, not, now, it's, it's not set up. Now I've seen spots because I'm looking. Don't look at the light bulb. Don't Chris. look at the sun, please. Don't. <laughs> we might start making like obscene shadow figures. Okay, well, okay. Anyway, okay. welcome back. Welcome back. If, We're here. <laughs> if this is your first Rat Tail episode, stick around. It gets better. Please. <laughs> Twenty twenty three. I'm so excited to be back. Yep. Holy shit! I have a sexy episode for you too. I think we probably have the most appropriate episode for the launch of 2023, in my opinion. Uh, before they do that, give them the details on what we need them to do. Yeah, so basically, if you're not a current subscriber, please hit that subscribe button right now. And while you do that, all of our current subscribers get to enjoy this beautiful piece of meat. Oh my gosh. And new year, hopefully some new viewers. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, like Chris said, because the next time you'll get to look at the picture. Yeah. And you get to enjoy it that time. That's because you've already been subscribed. Oh my gosh. The benefit of this subscribership. Is and subscribing is free. <laughs> and you'll always be notified when there's a new episode. So yes. All right. Oh, oh. You know what we should do, though? What? We should take a shot. Oh, my gosh. It's been so long. We've forgotten so much. Oh, my gosh. It's like I haven't had a drop of alcohol since we, our last... We haven't rehearsed anything, as you can tell. So okay. we're just raw dogging it today. I'm so excited to be here. All right. So this is my shot. And this shot glass is actually from Crystal. Oh, my gosh. Can we read what the shot glass is? Rat Tail Finamily from Pennsylvania, from your BH sister, Crystal D. Hold on, can I hold it close? Is yes. that okay? Yeah. You can't really see it, it's but- like etched in the glass, so. Yeah. Pretty, pretty. Crystal, Crystal. Crystal is a dear friend of the channel, and we finally got to meet her mm -hmm. on the cruise with her friend, Jennifer. How awesome is Crystal? Oh, the awesomest. Like, it, we, we met Crystal at the hotel before the cruise, I mean, yeah. gosh, love you, Crystal. Yes, thank you so much. Now, this shot glass is from our Hawaiian friend, Danielle, mm -hmm. who sent us so much Hawaiian swag after the Hawaiian show. So we're repping the new year with some friend shot glasses. I love it. Love our friends. I'm nervous. I haven't taken a I shot. I haven't either, you guys. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. Will we do it? Will we die? Cheers. Cheers. No. It's fine. <laughs> oh, it burns. <coughs> it's Tito's. Why does it burn? That's bad. I just feel like I'm hurting. It hurts. Okay, I'm back. Happy 23! Happy 23! First shot, high five. Today's episode, let's dive right into it. Yes. If there is one member of the new kids on the block, mm -hmm. did that sound French? No. Well, okay. It was different than American. I'm not good with accents. The new kids on the block, one member. Okay. 
Any guesses who that... There, there's one member right now who is on fire. Well, you keep saying member, and that makes me think of a big penis. Oh, so who do you... on the right track? I think you might be. So who are we talking about? I'm going to think... Joey McIntyre. This episode, the first episode of 2023, is all about Joey McIntyre. And, and what's he currently doing? Literally, in like four days from when we're filming this, he will be doing a solo performance at Carnegie Hall in New York City. So to get there, how exciting! Like, can you believe yes. one of our guys, Carnegie Hall, Joey? You made it. You made it. Finally. <laughs> I mean, you finally made it after being this shitty band. For I, I mean, finally. So glad your career's taken off. Yeah, um, time. <laughs> um, I was also, you know, Chris knows this. I was lucky enough to get to see Joe in L.A. Mm -hmm. in 2022. Got to see him in drag and got to see uh, one of his solo shows. as He was he was kind of prepping for Carnegie Hall. Mm -hmm. Talent. Talent. Talented. That's all I can say. Yeah. And I was really drunk the whole time, and it was fun. Yeah, you were. Um, but, yeah, so Joey's birthday was on the 31st. Oh, happy birthday. December 31st. He's like our friend Fab. Yeah. Fab has a birthday December 31st. Sure does. Um, So all that Capricorn magic. And the man is just on fire. So we're going to celebrate Joey today. And, Chris, I'm going to take you on a journey. Okay. Because this is a journey that I'm not sure you're very well versed on because you're a non blockhead. Okay. Now, I wasn't well versed on this either until I researched it because I wasn't a blockhead in 1999. What were you doing when it was 1999? Um, I think I was collecting those state quarters. <laughs> Oh my gosh! And you were a quarter time, collector? I didn't collect all of them, but I liked them because I remember at the vending machines when I'd get change, I'd be like, oh, I haven't seen Georgia yet or whatever. Did you have the display? Where no, I think okay. so. But I, I just, I would keep them because I wanted one of each. I never, I think I had 10 at the most. There's 50 states, obviously. Oh my gosh. Um, I got bored really quick, but I remember that was one of the things that I was doing, <laughs> waiting for the vending machine to give me change. I love that. I need my Snickers. Now, I was graduating high school in 1999 because that's what was happening. Cool. So, Joey McIntyre was also very busy in 1999. Now, what was happening with Joey is he produced his first solo album in 1999. I remember that. And this is where we share a little bit about the title of this episode. You might notice that the title of this episode is called Joey McIntyre, mm -hmm. The Fuckboy Years. Okay. <laughs> because self-admittedly, Joey has admitted that those years of his life and career, he was the biggest fuck boy ever. Now, before we move into the journey of Joey's fuck boyness, let's define fuck boy. Okay. How do you define fuck boy? I'm not sure if we're on the same page. I, I, honestly, I just thought it was a guy that fucks around. Yeah, so, exactly. Like, it, has sex often. Yes, and... But no commitment. Yeah. Right, just, like, promiscuous, just innocuous sex. Yeah, and it's open like, about it. Yeah. So, he's not trying to, like, break break hearts, just doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. But wants to give a fuck. But wants to fuck. Wants to fuck. Yes. That's a fuck boy. And um, so Joey once did a theater show. He wrote it and performed it. The show in 2013 was called The Kid. And in this show, he shared many stories of his fuck boy accolades. Fucking women, getting drunk, all the other stuff. Okay. So we're going to get to dive in because this is one of the funnest parts of his career. And since he's on fire, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So. In 1999, he self-produced and actually recorded it himself, produced it himself, sold it on his own website, his first uh, solo album. And there was a huge hit that came out of that album. And we, let's go ahead and play a little bit of the okay. video. Um, this is the video for that hit. And we'll get to see Joey in 1999. Nothing about you I would change. That was perfect. Let's take a break. Oh. 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 <laughs> Just me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Do you remember the song? It was on TRL. Yeah. For TRL. We'll listen to the first little bit. Like a waitress in this video. Yeah. Don't you ever wish you you were someone else. You were meant to be. The way you are exactly. Okay. That's the song. That's cool. That's what launched the fuck boy era. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Came out in 1999. What was interesting is he wasn't signed by a label, sold it from a website himself, and it did so well that Columbia eventually picked him up. Oh, nice. So he has an album in 1999 and then the Meet Joe Mac album in 2001. Oh, okay. So it's this period of 1999 to 2001. So he was really trying to jumpstart his solo career after New Kids on the Block. And let's see all the things that he did. Okay. To support his solo career. Are we ready? Oh, gosh. The first. So, the cool thing about Joe in the late 90s, early 2000s, is one way that he promoted his albums is he did a bunch of game shows. <laughs> so, um, one that's really popular is this, uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Okay. He did that one, but we're going to show you a different one. Now, I want us to have a little fun here. Okay. While you're watching this, let's like create a scale okay. of like zero to three. Three being this guy's a fuck boy. Okay. To zero, like he's straight and narrow. Okay, got it. Now, not everything he does is about sex and weed and drugs and alcohol, but you know, you just get an air about it. Yes. Like that's a fuck boy. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Play along. Here we go. Let's see. Hollywood Squares. Hollywood yeah. Squares. Played it when you lifted the lid. Circle gets the block. Joey McIntyre for the block. Joey for the block in CD. Meet Joe Mac. All right, Joe, you have... Hold on. Blonde tips. Blonde tips. Blonde tips. Blonde Sorry. Tips. That's so 2000s. Say today reports after oil, the most traded commodity in the world is what? Sex. <laughs> I was thinking that. Must be gold. I agree. Coffee. Coffee, Coffee, Coffee is what it is. Can't give you that one, Kamari. Sex. Is he the sex Joey trafficking? Oh, right, Joey, for a thousand dollars. No matter, no matter how hard you try, it's impossible to fold an eight and a half by eleven and a half piece of paper in half more than how many times? Do you know the answer to that? An eight and a half by what? An eight and a half by eleven. Oh, so a regular. Yeah. College roll piece of paper. Uh, any ideas? How many times you can fold it in half? Yeah, without not being able to do it. I don't know. Just throw a guess out. We'll see. 27? Okay, let's see. Got a lot of time on your hands. You right? absolutely <laughs> do. <laughs> um, 11, and then the 8 side, and then down, and then that would be 4. I'm a comedian. I don't know any math. <laughs> Why are you folding paper is my question. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 um, uh, four. I disagree. Seven. Just try that was 27. Seven. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so fuckboy square, or fuckboy ratio. I One to three. Say, like... A 2.75. 2.75. Yeah. The sex answer. He's totally there, and he's, like, on the verge. He he barely looks like he wants to be there, too. Yeah, he's also like, I just am here for promotion. You can, you can see him being like, yeah. what did my agent get me into? Um, love it. But he, he was on the game show circuit. I love it. It's so fun. Are we ready for another moment? Yeah. Okay. Now this one is interesting. Ready? Mm -hmm. I'm Joey McIntyre. Let me let you in on something. There's this guy. Maybe he's your boyfriend. Maybe he's someone you just met. He tells you it's okay. We don't need to use a condom. But in the heat of the moment, it's easy to let things go. There is no justice once. AIDS kills. You got to be responsible for yourself. Use protection. Okay, so I think that's a definite, like, 
what did it go to? Zero to what? Zero to three. That was a three, undercover three. Because oh. all he wants to do is talk about sex and getting it done. <laughs> and he's like, I just have to say this. But really, he doesn't give a shit. I disagree. I think it's a zero. I think Joey Mack should do... Cover. I think Joey Mack should do PSA. He was serious as fuck. He's like, don't fucking have sex without a condom. And he looked cute. Don't you think he looked cute? Yeah, I just think he didn't use a condom anyway. Do I mean, Joey Mack, probably raw dog... Like, we're raw dogging this episode. <laughs> Joey kidding. Mack out in LA raw dogging... Everyone at MTV. Okay. Okay. Ready for the next one? Traveling down the Joey Mac Fuckboy Highway. Oh, it's oh, Chris! <laughs> so is this like really his house? Yep. Hi. Welcome to MTV Cribs. I'm Joey McIntyre. I'll be showing you a piece of American history. It's already a three. <laughs> Can we talk a about... It's a real three already. He's like, just come in and fuck on the bed right now. <laughs> you know, what is that called? A chin strap? The a goat. bike helmet? I, don't, I can't tell. Oh, the what facial he, hair. But where is it stopping and starting? Oh, let's start over. A Sorry, this bike is... bike helmet? Is that what you said? <laughs> I don't know what it's called. This is the important journalism we do at Rockdale. Let's look. <laughs> Doesn't it look like it goes all well, the way up? It looks his... kind of like mustache goatee almost, but it just gets too blurry. Okay, we'll keep an eye out to see if we can figure it out. Welcome to MTV Cribs. I'm Joey McIntyre. I'll be showing you a piece of American history. Come on in. Right. I saw Donnie. You saw Donnie? Yeah. Oh, how special. Well, this house is built. In 1740. This room we're in right now was built in 1800. I bought this house when I was 17. My mother found it at the time, and I'm still young for the house. I try to stay true to the vibe of the house. It's old, so I'm not going to get, you know, Jermaine Dupree on you. You know what I'm saying? This is. Jermaine Dupree's hanging out at home. This is a uh, 1930s mahogany piano, and of course, you gotta keep the right music on the pedestal there. This is what I do to, to look like I can play. See that? This is my favorite room because this was part of the Underground Railroad. When they were looking for slaves, they had to hire them somewhere. It's not a lot of space, but it's enough to hide a few people. I hope you feel the, the depth of it all. See, that complicates things a yeah, little bit. Yeah, now it's like zero. Yeah, it's like, it oh. Serious. And he has appreciation for what he purchased yeah. and like this beautiful home. The Jermaine Dupri might make it 0 0.9. Because <laughs> if you have, I no hate to Jermaine, but if he's hanging out at home, you're probably hanging out with some girls too. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Beautiful house though. Cribs, Joey. Cribs, Joey. Um, choo choo. Are you ready for the next step in the train? Yes. The train is going down the fuckboy tracks. This is for the fashion pages of Playboy magazine, and uh, of course, it's Joe McIntyre, formerly of New Kids on the Block, and now he's on his own. Do you know? <laughs> Look how. Yeah. 2000s was all it's like a real world like filming or something from uh starting out singing in front of his agent to, uh, Get him. the women in his life celebrity stardom award ceremonies the ups and downs the ups and downs and uh this was the down taken from a famous homage to the famous james dean shot well you could do it <laughs> Um, hello, Audie. Hey, Joe McIntyre is next outfit ready for the uh, pop star debut. Let's look at some footage of him shooting. I guess it's kind of like the life and times of, of Joe Mac. The rise and fall and rise again is the whole sequence. And uh, you're just playing at it, you know, and it's fun. And, you know, the little vignettes and it's kind of uh, tongue in cheek. Okay. We got Playboy. What do you think? I, this is so complicated. 
It's so complicated. Like we're <laughs> to scale of one to three. I was like, <laughs> there's only four choices. Um, I would give him a two on this. Yeah, because even though it's sexual in nature, it's just a photo shoot. Yeah, and I think it's making, just and they're making him do that. Like. I think it's just the fact that it's Playboy and that they went so far away from that as the group yeah. that he's really stepping out saying, I am no longer yeah. part of the new kids on the block. Well, they even introduced him formally. Yes. You know? But I will say this to me is one of the hottest looks of his fuckboy era. Okay. He looks good here. Any thoughts about... His physical appearance. It looks good, for sure. So good. Oh, I don't think his physical appearance ever looks bad, though. He's always Aww. pretty much in shape. Right always now. so handsome. And I just wanted to include the picture here. Oh, yeah. You know, a little... That was, like, scandalous, though. Oh, back then? Back then, it was oh scandalous. Yes. Especially for the New Kids fans that were like, what happened to my Joey? Well, this is what happened. <laughs> Fuck Yeah. Sign me up. Okay, next stop, all aboard. Where are we going? Oh, let's see where we're going. We're not going to go there. We're going to talk about some interesting pictures. Now, he dated Sue Jim Park. Do you remember her from? She was um, from, um, was it one of the real world or, or, no, no, no. She was the MTV VJ. That's right. She was the MTV VJ. So look at him. I knew she was on MTV somehow. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Um, Switch and Pac. Switch and Pac. Now, okay, there isn't a lot. Oh, um, there isn't a lot of information about this. Okay. But um, what's really exciting is that you can find on the internet tons of pictures with Joey and our girl Britney Spears. Oh, really? Because you know those concerts that are like jingle halls. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and they're run by, like, a, a radio conglomerate, mm -hmm. and they have a bunch of, like, mid-tier yeah, stars. Yeah. Now, they did that circuit together when Britney wasn't a total smash superstar and Joey was just starting up again. Got it. And so, now, timeline, pay attention. Joey got married in 2003, but he released another album in 2004. And on that album... There is a song called This Is Different. Let me read you some of the lyrics of This Is Different. Okay. Hit me, baby, one more time and move your body closer. Can't you read my mind? Now you've got me. I know about your ex and money he made. <clears throat> Justin Timberlake. He was singing my songs in the third grade. So glad you finally said bye, 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 oh. Wow. Lots of interesting thoughts about Joey writing and performing the song very clearly about Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. That's what it sounds like. I kind of like the lyrics. Yeah, have you heard the song? No. <laughs> <laughs> so I wonder if the melody would make it make more sense to it. <laughs> Um, so I think that's something that maybe we can, uh, that might be fun. If you follow us for Instagram, we'll play a little like clip of the yeah. song, um, when we talk about this episode, but just an interesting part of his fuckboy yeah. journey. It did. And there's rumors that he had something with Britney Spears for a while. Well, it sounds like he did. She was, I, I don't think she was 18, lyrics, right? I don't think those lyrics are very subtle. I mean, it's pretty straightforward if you ask See, me. the next, it says, Girl, I know you're bigger than Madonna. To be your boyfriend, it would be an honor. <laughs> well, she worked with Madonna, remember? Yeah. She was in that one song with her. You know, if I could talk to Joey about this, I would. Because I just want to know, like, he was married when this song came out. And but he wrote it probably before he was married. It's, it's probably yeah. about... One of his relationships is probably Britney Spears. Joey Mack dated Britney Spears? Now, I don't care if that's fuckboy or not, but he basically, with the queen, that's amazing. Got Brit. Got Brit? Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. All right, so how we only have one more journey. Oh, my God, we're almost to the end. I know, we're almost to the end. This was a bit short. Last stop. Maybe, maybe this might be a part two. 
Maybe we'll see how you guys feel. Let us know in the comments if you'd like to see more Joey Mac fuckboy content. Mm -hmm. Maybe this fuckboy journey isn't over. Um, any thoughts about Joey before I bless you with one last surprise? I think it, it's a really, it looks like a fun era for him. Fun era! Yeah, looks like he's doing what he wants to do. He's becoming his own individual person. I love it. Uh, yeah. He's so handsome, too, and that kind of matters. <laughs> okay, all right, you ready for the last surprise? Yes. Okay, don't look at the title or anything. I'm not looking. Okay, I want you to be really, really surprised. Yes, the camera. Okay, here we go. Okay, Don't look at the title. Yep, ready. Okay, I'm not looking at the title. Looks like spring break or something. Uh huh. This is the grind. So not. I don't look at Jordan in this picture. He's with Jordan. This is amazing. Okay, because guess what, y'all? Joey's fuckboy train in 1999 is going like this. Guess whose other fuckboy train is oh, coming right next to it? Jordan Knight. Jordan Knight would give it to you. Yes. And so here they are on the same stage. Let's let's enjoy it a little bit. Okay. See what's going on. What's up? We're here in Cancun on Fat Tuesdays, and it's all that, man. It's everything it looks like. And this is the grind all over. Yeah. And all over means all over the tropics. Jamaica, SS Spring Break, and here in Cancun. That's right. <laughs> These girls. <laughs> These girls. Doing a little something, something that you said earlier. She's going to rip it up. Mm -hmm. Now you've heard her on the radio. You've seen her on TV. DJ Coco Chanel. What you got, baby? What up, DJ Coco Chanel. DJ Coco Chanel. so many memories. Oh, my gosh. It's so funny. MTV during that era was pretty crazy. It was so crazy. I remember TRL. Mm -hmm. All of them. Well, oh my rules. god! There was Real World. There was. Do you remember the show Undressed? Yes. I loved Undressed. One of my friends got on Pimped My Pimp My Ride. Oh really? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Crazy, huh? Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for just joining us, and and really, this is just a fun celebration. Joey, we love you. We're yes. so proud of you. Look at what you've where you've come. Like where you've. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> What is it called? Look at where you've come from. Where you came from. Yeah, look at where you came from. Look at where you come. <laughs> Our first episode back. We're shaking yeah, it off. We're shaking it off. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so um, we wish you and your all the fuck boys in your life mm -hmm. um, a good day. Thanks for stopping in and having some fun with us. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Where can they? Join in on all the rat tail Let's friends. see if I remember. Okay, we've got uh, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and of course, right here on YouTube. Cannot wait. We are continuing with regular uh, episodes. Mm -hmm. So join us uh, next week for the next installment of Rat Tail. Okay. We love you. Mwah. Mwah.